I do not believe that I will be serving the interests of my country and all her peoples by suppressing the truth simply because such a truth is unpalatable to certain sections of the population. Percy Kabosa, South Africa. For many people in Rwanda, refraining from murder was in itself an act of resistance. Several peasant farmers were killed because they refused to strike the corpses of their Tutsi neighbors. There are courageous and upright men who were not able or did not dare to come to the aid of their fellows. They now live with remorse for having failed to do so. There is no merit in my having rescued a few people. It was in my power to do so. My position gave me a better chance than others. Andres Ibomana, Rwanda, born 1954, deceased 1998. There is nothing that sets me apart from the others. I am just one of them. We have fought together. I have learned from others and they have learned from me. Together we have struggled and together we will struggle. And together we will continue to improve. I am just part of the global army. Fred Membe, Zambia. It seems to me that journalism goes with democracy. The unwavering pursuit of journalism is my moral obligation. Grema Bukhar Kura, Niger. If you read these laws and you want to become a journalist, you really should go grind peanuts because it's better for you. Freedom Neruda, Cote d'Ivoire. Press freedom is like the law. It's the cement that holds together the social and political fabric of democracy. Kenneth Best, Liberia and the Gambia. I came into journalism as a priest coming into a religion. Journalism is my religion because I found the power of the word. Bayez Nawe, Cameroon. I guess they thought, being a woman, that if they put the fear of God into me, that I would soon resign from journalism and go on and do something else. But that did not happen, because the more I guess they targeted me, the more I dug my heels in. Gwen Lister, Namibia. There are two choices, only two. There is racial separation with massive economic sacrifices. Or there is economic integration with far-reaching political concessions. Lawrence Gandhar, South Africa. I really find it extraordinary that there are these generalized complaints about the media and the press ombudsman system without any specifics ever being brought to the fore. Raymond Lowe, South Africa. It was a great surprise to receive this award which will boost the morale of my newspaper journalists. It means a great motivation and inspiration to all journalists fighting for press freedom, justice, democracy, human rights, not only in Gambia, but all throughout Africa. Pap Sain, the Gambia. I have received many letters of solidarity on the part of colleagues, and newspapers have published articles. It is true that we today do not have the same response as before, but when it comes to the imprisonment of journalists, we act as if we belonged to the same family.